Hello guys, uh, as you may know, Arnold for GPU has just been released a few days ago. Uh, it's available as a trial version at the moment. Um, myself, I had the opportunity to, to test it for a few months already, so in this video I'll try to, to talk about some of my experience with it. Alright guys, so this is my scene. Uh, this is my normal settings for a CPU render. Um, on system you can see the GPU option um, okay but first I have to I want to uh, render this on CPU for later compare with the with the speed of the GPU um, okay for you to get an idea as you can see this is a dense mesh and um, with all hair facial hair hair eyebrows done on uh, with XGN all the skin details I sculpt on ZBrush will be able to render thanks to the displacement map I created. I created two displacement maps for this phase. Uh, each map is uh, about 8K. Before I render, I like to see with the virtual subdivision with Cat Clark how by subdividing from zero to one or two, uh, if I'm able to get more of the of the fine details of the of the displacement map. Okay, let's run the CPU and to see how long it will take to like to compare it with the GPU. I will speed up the video just to no wait for the whole render to, to happen in real time. Okay, the render is done. It took about 27 minutes to finish. Okay, let's try to run it on the GPU and see what time we get. Um, okay, before we render the same scene on GPU, there are certain things we have to bear in mind. For instance, uh, first we have to activate GPU on the system panel, and then uh, hair done on XGN is not able to be rendered on uh, on the GPU yet. So for that reason, I have to convert uh, the XGN primitives to polygons. Uh, it's something not quite ideal turns to convert all the hair into polygons one end up with such a heavy scene uh, so i converted part of the hair not the full hair used for the for the for the render that i needed um, some other problem that i experienced is uh, the cat clark subdivisions um, usually i get some problems when this is in one or two so i had to bring it down to zero to not get any problems um, so now let's see. Uh, I have the same settings and let's see what we get. Also, uh, when you use uh, render any scene on the CPU, bear in mind that will take a few seconds first to, to load the scene. So in this case, it took me about 30 seconds before Arnold started rendering. As you see, uh, very quickly we can see the results. At the moment, it's still some noise on the scene, is because uh, to be able to remove the, the, the noise on the scene, we have to activate adaptive samplings. Uh, that's the way the GPU works at the moment. Okay, before I continue, let me unhide the rest of the hair just to, to make the render and, and let's see how long it will take. All right, now we have more hair on the, on the scene and uh, let's try to render it. Uh, in this case, because now I have more polygons on the scene uh, to render this to start rendering this scene it took me three minutes before the scene started uh, or Arnold started rendering something so yeah it's something that is quite slow at the moment hopefully it's gonna be improved uh, but then once Arnold start rendering then the results are quite immediately we can see how you see immediately start uh, denoising all the scene is quite quite amazing actually um, especially if one uh, render use some regions we can quickly see the speed of the of the render by the way i'm using a nvidia rtx 2080 ti for this render um, okay i will speed up the video let's see how long it will take to to render this on the GPU. 
okay so this scene it took four minutes uh, compared to the GP CPU render that took 27 minutes uh, GPU render is quite faster it's only four minutes as we can see it's almost uh, the same quality but I'm um, for some reason I'm getting some uh, dots black dots on the image um, it might be because of the um, subsurface scattering material that's something that has to be improved but I noticed that if I render by regions uh, I'm able to to remove these these black dots so so that's why I carry on I will use uh, render by regions the full image that will take me again only four minutes to render the whole image but but without any artifacts on the on the image as you can see so here you can compare both images both cpu and gpu um, actually the quality in the gpu is quite good still a little bit noisy compared to the cpu but it's getting there of course it doesn't have uh, facial hair since i couldn't um, convert all the facial hair into polygons because it was too much uh, but still I mean the, the quality is quite good especially for the time of the render so yeah it's quite promising okay this time let's try a different scene this time a hard surface mesh um, with a more specular and metallic shader let's see how the GPU behaves with such a shader and such a Object. Uh, on my on my render settings, I already activated adaptive samplings just to remove some of the noise uh, from the uh, from the specular. Uh, okay, again, I will just render on the CPU first to compare the time with the with the GPU. Uh, sometimes while while rendering, I experience some um, error messages or or the GPU just stops. And in those cases, well, as, as we know already, it's used a beta version so far, but um, sometimes I just need to stop it and, and save the scene, close the scene, and or reopen it and re-render. Uh, sometimes can be quite frustrating, but, well, um, I'm sure in the future this will run smoothly. Okay, so this render took uh, 7 minutes and 47 seconds. Of course, this is the, the CPU render. And, uh, I'm happy with the, with the results. It could be improved a little bit, it's a little bit of noise. But anyways, okay, let's try the GPU render. For this, I have to increase the amount of adaptive samples to 18. Uh, so now let's see how long it will take. In this case, it didn't take long to, to load uh, the scene. Uh, it just straight away started rendering. And um, yeah, it seems quite fast. Um, it's removing the noise. Uh, it's still got depth of field and everything is working fine. I didn't need to do, I didn't need to do any adjustments like on the previous scene with the uh, subsurface scattering shader. In this case, it's, it's all good to go. Um, all right, the render has finished, only 37 seconds. I'm quite happy with the results. Um, yeah, compared to seven minutes, this one only took 37 seconds. Still, depot field and everything looks fine. Um, it's quite quick. Okay, let's let's compare that the image. Uh, the quality of the CPU versus the GPU render. Well, the quality is quite quite good, uh, both CPU and GPU. Uh, but the time difference is 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 amazing. It's from seven minutes to thirty-seven seconds, all, almost for the same result. Well, you get a little bit of noise on the on the GPU, but still, this is quite an amazing difference. Um, okay guys well this is uh, this is it for me I hope you like this video if you like it please uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, thank you